Hey guys, Silence L here. Welcome back to a final, the real final Uta Macross Gacha video for this channel. It's a sad day, but yet a very happy one uh, at the same time for this YouTube channel. Yes, we've been doing Uta Macross for four years now on this channel since the game's beginning, and it's sad to say it has to come to an end. But as of what as of this time that I'm recording this video, we are technically 14 hours away before the game wraps up. So the journey has begun since two months ago since Dana announced the closure of the game. And I have been recording all the S lives for every single song featured in Uta Macross, including all the diva costumes plus Basara. Yes, Basara is still not known as a diva. <laughs> so yes, so the channel kind of blew up since last night because I kind of tweeted out in Japanese on my Twitter account. Uh, so some of you who are lucky enough to follow me on Twitter, um, I try to keep my Twitter life a bit more private because a lot of my Japanese Macross fans are following me on Twitter and I would like to try and keep them, you know, not disturbed with too much of my English Macross content on YouTube. But however, last night, because the stuff that I'm uploading to YouTube um, isn't exactly language bound. So, <laughs> um, yes, most of you guys already know that I'm archiving all the S lives with the special sequences from some of the costumes that appear in all the uh, different songs in Ultime Time Across. Plus, I also mentioned that I was going to upload the archiving of all the Divas costumes plus Basaras onto the channel eventually, you know, for cosplayers, you know, to if they ever want to decide to cosplay a certain costume from a particular diva but they need details of a particular portion of their costume they can probably look up the archiving on my channel um, so yeah I decided to tweet out last night that in you know in Japanese saying that I was archiving all the S Live plus divas uh, costumes in Japanese and the tweet blew up <laughs> so if you guys are watching this video now and you're looking at my subscriber count you will notice yes we have reached the 700 subscriber mark so yay <laughs> the channel has finally gone past the 700 mark which has been uh, you know a goal for quite a few years now <laughs> and we finally gone past it in fact after the tweet blew up um, the channel subscriber count went beyond what I would have imagined. So within the 24 hours of that tweet, the channel gained almost 50 subscribers within 24 hours. I know it's not a lot of subscriber for a small channel like me. It is just a eye-opener experience. Um, I'm, I'm no PewDiePie, so... <laughs> but still, you know, big youtubers out there all started small and things like this they have all experienced themselves so when i i myself finally get a chance to go through such a thing my mouth dropped wide open so i have to say a big thank you to everyone those of you who speak english international fans no matter which part of the world you are from outside of japan you guys have been supporting my channel for a long time now especially for macross content uh, of course if you guys have been way before Uta macross you know those of you who follow me for Yu-Gi-Oh, pokemon and now maybe digimon including so a great big amount of appreciation to everyone who has stuck around joined in recently you guys make things all the worthwhile so um, before I move on let me thank the Japanese friends as well let me try not to butcher this <laughs> uh, in Japanese because you guys know my Japanese is not that fantastic I'm not that fluent when it comes to speaking but I'll try my best so ganbari mashou anyways um eto nihon no tomodachi e macross fan no tomodachi ne Twitter ni 
。ありがとうございました。えっ、ー、と、この YouTube チャンネルはついに700人のチャンネル、えっ、ー、と,と、ちょっと待ってね。お疲れ様です。お、登録者の目標を達,達成しました。Hopefully I did not butcher that. It was very difficult to read kanji. <laughs> えっ、ー、と、登録者の目標を達成しました。えっ、ー、と、本当にありがとうございました。えーと、I, I seriously have no idea what else to say. I mean, it's, えー、びっくりした。えー、24時間に50の登録者えぇ、ー、びっくりした<笑>本当に<笑>えぇ<ー><笑><笑> ?Okay, so, anyways, enough of my atrocious Japanese. <laughs> Um, first things first, let's start off with some very old、um, Macross news. I'm sure I'm very backdated with this right now because I've been busy recording all the S lives and you know, costume video clips.、Um, I didn't really have time to go and upload the information on Instagram to inform you guys about it. So there was an announcement of a key visual for the Tuzak.、Uh, Te、Tezuka collaboration with Macross, SDF Macross in,、um, in specifics. So they, they released this key visual, and yeah, a lot of people had something to say about Hikaru's eye color, but to me personally, I'm not so bothered about the specifics. But you know, there are certain things that do change、uh, accordingly with certain artists,、um, but you know. It's, it's not a big deal to me personally, but it's pretty nice to see a familiar art style reappearing again for SDF Macross,、uh, especially since the collaboration work. You know, so it's pretty exciting. Anyways, then of course, for Uta Macross news, I have to apologize to you guys. So apparently, I misread the information and mistranslated certain things. So, Instead of voting for the episode plates that you want to receive as presents, apparently it is receiving the image illustration of the episode plates that you vote for. So that's my bet. So, anyway, guys, here are the images. I'm gonna have them flash past the screen、um, while I'm talking. So, yes, all 10 divas. Um, we voted for, hopefully, you guys did. So, here are the images.、Um, of course, you can get a high resolution image of it off the official Uta Macross Twitter account. But, of course, take note you are not allowed to use these images for any money making purposes or even, you know,、um, basically, you're not allowed to use it for any kind of、um, means of earning money. After all, it is copyrighted images.、Um, so be cautious of that. You can use it for your own personal enjoyment.、Uh, sadly to say, you can't really use it for very public thumbnails as well. So、hmm, be cautious on that. Anyways,、um, alright, so moving along, aside from the mistake that I've made,、uh, I, let's talk about. All the free gacha pools that we recently got as well. So, I'm gonna have it flash past the screen what I've recently pulled that is decent or fantastic、um, while you guys were not able to see because we do have that free 10 plate pool every day since、um, I guess the last month. Yeah, so. This is pretty much what I got. Hopefully, the amount of time that I'm talking right now is more than enough to squeeze the entire <laughs> amount of gacha videos that I have gathered、um, since the start of the template free pools. 
And then of course, finally today, we are going to draw every single last bit of the singing stones that I have saved up inside the present box. Um, we're going to talk about what you should technically be doing in the last few hours of the game right now. Especially if you're trying to personally archive um, something for yourself that I can't provide um, because I myself, sadly to say, am not able to collect every single 6 star episode played out there. So we're going to go into the Utahime tab and we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So I've tried my best to try and get double copies of every single 6 star episode play, or rather the 5 star versions of it. As you can tell, I'm missing like uh, Makina's episode plate here and another one here. You know, there are quite a few episode plates that I'm... Oh no, I don't even have this for Reina's. I definitely need to evolve this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna try my best to try and gain those tickets to try and get another copy of certain uh, favorite diva episode plates. Especially, I've got all of Ranka's uh, six star episode plates, so I'm gonna archive Ranka's plates for myself personally. Um, initially, I was going to try and archive the voice recording that is exclusive to the six star episode plates. Uh, if you guys have unlocked it you can see this video clip here so each episode play actually has its own story voiced clip if you aren't familiar with it you know of course if you want to hear your favorite say you speak in your favorite divas voices this thing is definitely one to archive but sadly to say six star episode plates are not easy to archive um, I was actually hoping to get more of the exchange tickets um, to try and attain all these six star episode plates, you know, the ones that you use to exchange for six star episode plates here. I was hoping they would give us more tickets on the last day, but instead we got more um, in game mob currency, which is, you know, as you can tell, I can't use up. It's just too much. <laughs> Seriously, Dana, there are more important things to give us than cash. <laughs> Anyways. Once we're done here, okay, make sure you use all the skip tickets you can. Try and gain all those tickets as possible within the last 14 hours. Um, and of this time that I'm recording, it's 14 hours. By the time I upload this video, maybe it might be 12 hours, 13 hours. I don't know. By the time you watch this video as well, time might have passed even more. So. We're gonna do our very last gacha pulls, but first things first, let's go claim all the singing stones uh, or whatever gifts that's currently in the present box. Make sure you do so, don't want to waste it away. So as you can tell, I'm like kind of a bit short to do quite a bit of template pulls. If I can- Oh! We hit the 2000 mark! Alright, that's fantastic, but sadly to say we are 20 short from a single free pool. Uh, not free pool, but 20, uh, uh, 50 cost single pool. Um, so one last thing before we move on to the last gacha portion of this video. I'm sure you guys will have known how to check your status on you know how much you have played full time across the last 4 years, 3 years, 2 years, 1 year, few hours. I don't know, some of you guys actually joined the game within the last few days before a seizure. So I was quite surprised but you know, dedication and love for the Macross series, some of you persevered on. Um, so I'm very proud of you guys. <laughs> As, um, be it, you know, since you started the game, since the, the game started. You know, of course, for those of you who only played for the last few days, everyone did their best to show their culture around the world. I have no idea how to change the, um, you know, the pilot image. Maybe it's got something to do with like, the amount of songs played? No, I definitely played more Frontier songs than Delta, so I don't know why Hayate is there. So that there, there are other people who actually um, got different pilots uh, in this illustration here. I think there was a total of five or I don't know. Um, I can't remember exactly how many pilot illustrations there are, but there were quite a bit. Uh, it's not the entire set. 
or pilots available in the entire Macross series, but uh, it's slightly more than a handful of pilots. Anyways, so player rank, as you can tell, I only leveled up to 178, even with all the skip ticket rushes in the last two months. Um, then of course, I didn't really upgrade my Utah grade because I was busy, busy recording all the S lives. Um, then a total amount of login days. Uh, it should be more because there were a few days I, I think I for no technically I didn't forget to log in. So this shouldn't be a problem unless there were a few days that I was sick <laughs> and I totally forgot to log in. You know, but still, this is like four years worth of login days. So that's a lot. <laughs> then of course the amount of missions clear. Um, I'm not sure what this one is, but either ways, um, not too important. So yeah, the amount of songs cleared, 54,434. And the amount of songs played from each series, then of course how many of them you've easy, hand, uh, hard, you know. I, I guess you've cleared, so... How many times did I play extreme? Oh wow, I've actually grinded extreme way more than I thought I would. <laughs> then the, the amount of plates max leveled up, so there. Oh wow, Ultra Macross has a total of 2,678 plates. Okay, I'm missing like 170 plates. That's that's fair. Um, so yeah, then of course Valkyries 61 out of 61, yeah, and of course. Um, maxed out. Wait, what? Why is there only 60 maxed out? I maxed out all the Valkyries. That makes no sense. Okay, never mind. Then of course costumes, so 340 costumes out of 340. Um, improvements in costumes. Um, then of course the uh, plate change. Oh, I guess this is the color alteration costumes. So yeah. Then of course you have each indo individual divas um, ranking as well, you know, some of them. The stats here are all different. So like this one shows the, the divas level. Um, how many times you poked them for affection. <laughs> then of course uh, costumes collected, you know, costumes improved. Um, max level. It's five songs, so I can I don't use Freya a lot, but if you look at my Makina, um, yeah, Freya, no no, Makina, Reina, and of course my ultimate waifu, Ranka. As you can tell, Ranka is all maxed out, including all the stats. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the waifu gets all the love. Uh, two of them. So, Riri also gets the full maxed out level, although her level is lower than Ranka's. You know, because Ranka is the ultimate waifu. So guys, go and check out your own personal stats for Utah Macross. How did you fare in the last, I mean, the, the four years of operation of Utah Macross? Um, let me know what you got in the comments down below, especially which pilot did you get? <laughs> Alright, so I think that's about it. It's time to, the la to do the last gacha pools for Utah Macross and bid this game farewell um, but you know I will be archiving all the S lives onto the YouTube channel so technically Utah Macross won't entirely die out so soon for my YouTube channel um, hopefully you guys stick around for all the S live archiving sadly to say there are certain songs that have been entirely blocked from viewing because of copyright issues um, I only just found out that one of them was blocked out even though it previously had 100 views and 6 likes on it but now it cannot be viewed at all which is kind of a shame um, and yeah I'll, I'll put it on the screen whichever song it is yeah so anyways it's time let's do the last free template pool of Wu Time Across and let's see how today's luck is Ah, I almost forgot that I should have exchanged for all the Cho... Um, uh, what was the ticket called again? Uh, Super Dimension Cho GQ Gacha tickets. So yeah. 
almost forgot about that. So let's do that later. Let's take a look at what we have. So it seems like the free template pool is still unlucky as usual. So today's luck for the free pools isn't fantastic. So I'm just gonna skip all of this because the last the last round of the free template pools have mostly been um, costume plates with points and it isn't those episode plates that can equip onto divas. And it's only when they evolve to become five star episode plays or you know something a bit more rare then they will have regular episode plates appearing so that's kind of a bummer so anyway let's, let's move on to the um exchange side of things first let's maybe grab some of the super dimension tickets uh sadly to say i don't have enough red medallions or uh, super dimension medals to change for the tickets i wish i had a bit more i'm just like 425 medals away from getting another you know 300 episode plate tickets uh, such a bummer oh well so anyways um should i exchange for this it does give 15,000 let's see let's do the math 15,000 what can i do with 15,000 um 15,000 Technically I can get 7 tickets How many tickets can I get from here? Oh, this is 400 medals Let's see Oh, you can only exchange for 4? That's a bummer Okay, so let's change for 4 here Since this is the max amount Okay, the rest of the episode plates here technically are Unattainable already so let's play smart. So let's exchange one. Oh dang! I'm like 25 short! That's such a waste. Oh well. Is there anything else I can exchange from here? I mean all the the core room stuff I've already exchanged. I don't need all of these. So I guess I'm burning away a few super dimension medals. So that's kind of a Bummer. Oh well. Okay. Wait, what? I've maxed out on the exchange of this. Oh man, that's such a waste. Oh well. Okay, so I do recall that one of the episode plates here I did not. I, I was not able to exchange for two copies. Especially if I want to keep my illustrations on these episode plates. Gotta have some love for Flower Girl. That is so cute. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll decide what I'm gonna do with those um, Zodiac medals later. But either ways, I've gotten all my Super Dimension tickets. So let's get back to the gacha pooling. Okay. Let's do the Super Dimension gacha first because this gacha is definitely not giving us all the love. So let's do a template pool from here. Hopefully it might be lucky compared to the free template pool. Alright, here we go. Nothing fantastic. Let's skip this. Oh. Wow. Still managed to pull out a new episode play. Okay, that's interesting. So let's do a four plate pull here. Alright. So nothing fantastic. As expected, I apologize if you heard me yawn when I was saying that. I, I'm honestly very, very exhausted. So once this video is done, editing, uploading, I'm hitting the sack very hard. Okay, so I do have two guaranteed uh, five-star episode plate gacha tickets here. So we're gonna do this as well. So this was this was from the last two events. Um, so yeah, if you actually worked hard on it, you would have these tickets too. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. No golden orb. That's fine. Anyway, they're all guaranteed five stars. Rainbow box in the first blink. So we don't have to see any evolution. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, nice. Do I have this fully evolved though? I got this one. Nice. 
got a lot of copies of this, so... Oh wait, it's new! What? <laughs> and here, I thought I have a few copies. Oh, I tell you, my mind is not functioning at 100% right now. I, I'm probably at running at like 45% or even lower. Alright, here it is. The guaranteed 5 star episode plate Gachapu. So all 10 plates are guaranteed 5 star in a burst. So there might be a chance that I might get a few 6 star episode plates. Hopefully. We have 2000 singing stones. So technically I can do um, 4 pulls of this. So let's let's have fun with this. It is the last Utah Cross Gacha video. Let's enjoy it to its fullest on its last lengths of service. Here we go. There was a bit of a load bar. So hopefully it does evolve something that I already have. Or maybe it might give me something that I don't have. Look at out of that. Okay, so we're gonna see four red boxes evolve. Hopefully some of the red, bo uh, red boxes go up to a five star form. Or maybe even a rainbow box. Alright, gotta have the waifu bless them. Okay. No evolution. That's kind of a bummer. Let's keep going. It would be nice to have at least one or two six star episode plates, you know, in the last gacha video. <laughs> gotta end it with a bang! Okay. Alright, we have this fully evolved now. Guaranteed. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nope, didn't go further. I think I have this fully evolved. Because I purposely exchanged for this episode plate just to get the costume. I think I don't have this. Alright, Min Mei gets a bit of love. Alright. Are we done? We kind of lost count. There we go. Oh, two plates that are new. Nice. So yeah. Okay, let's keep going. We still got like Three more rounds. It's a lot of episode plates. This video is pretty long, but you know, it's been a while since we did a video, so it's okay. Hmm. Oh, one plate will evolve. Now, well, like to see some of the rainbow boxes evolve as well. No evolution. Let's skip. It's gonna be a long video if I don't skip them. Okay. Some starting to see some old plates. No evolution further. That's kind of a sad thing. Okay, some crossover life love. Oh wow! So many new plates! Okay. Moving forward with evolving plates, that's fantastic. You know, if I do want to consider archiving images or for my own personal enjoyment, I have no strength to archive all the episode plates <laughs> anymore. So we have some people in Japan who are doing that. So Good job to them to help the community archive uh, Ultra Macros content. Hmm. Oh, one red box only. Okay, no evolution on this one. <laughs> I always love looking at this illustration. Alright, waifu love. Okay, lots of uh, Min Mei. Hey, Ray Ray finally makes an appearance. Wait, actually she did have that 
swimsuit episode play earlier. Oh! And here I'm complaining about my second waifu not getting enough love. <laughs> oh, I'm... I am so proven wrong. <laughs> okay. Hey, Cheryl gets a bit of love as well. Miling finally gets some love. I think she did get some love earlier, but my my, my mind is a bit hazy. Okay, lots of evolution. One new plate for Rei Rei. Okay. This is the last and final pool, guys. Still no 6 star episode plate. It's kind of sad. Even on the last run of this game, uh, not getting enough love. <laughs> Alright, 5 Valkyries, no golden orb. Alright. Ray Ray gets more love. Kumo gets some love too. Hey, Makima. Okay. Oh, finally Basara gets some love. Kaname as well. Alright, crossover love. Okay. The only red box. Go further, please. Aww. Nice. And wow, it's a lot of new plates that I don't have. And a lot of plates evolving as well. Okay, gotta be grateful with what I get. So, yeah, guys, that's it for the gacha video. Before we end this, uh, I have to do another big shout out before I forget. Um, Big thank you to the three people who initially um, reached out to me to assist with archiving um, S lives and costume um, clips. Initially, before Dana released the method to exchange for episode plates, it was kind of um, difficult to try and archive everything, especially since I was missing certain costumes. So I actually reached out to some of you through Instagram, the YouTube community wall, um, and of course on my own personal Facebook as well. Um, some of you actually came out to help uh, to record certain costumes that I'm missing and of course the S Life performances for those costumes as well. So a big shout out to these three people who actually came out to help me. Um, the first one is actually from Instagram. I don't know if I have her on my Facebook account. I think I do. Maybe I don't. Um, but if I'm not wrong, she's an Indonesian fan in Macross. Correct me if I'm wrong uh, if you're watching my video. So it's QKIO19 on Instagram. I think she recently changed her Instagram name. So if you want to hit up her up you know she's a very friendly cosplayer in her own country as well yeah she cosplays macross characters as well so if you want to find out um who she is i'll leave her instagram profile in the description down below then of course two personal very close family or friends <laughs> not from the same parents but you know very closely related as well across the world so First one is um, a sister from another mother, Cecilia, an Italian Macross fan. Um, I've known her for quite a few years now and of course when I was reaching out for help to archive stuff, she decided to help me out. Um, so yeah, I'll leave her Instagram link in the description down below if you want to hit her up to say hi as well, you know. She's a very friendly person and of course she she makes a very good uh, Ranka and Minmei cosplay. <laughs> and of course, not forgetting Milane. So yes, so her top three, including Freya. Her, she's got a lot of waifus. <laughs> and of course, a bro from another set of parents. My US brother, uh, Franklin. He's been around me in the Macross community for years now. Um, and I'm really, really grateful for his support 
in many ways um, he has supported this channel so many times um, behind the scenes so big shout out to my man Franklin sadly to say he doesn't have Instagram and all that I think he does but I don't have him added in my personal Instagram and of course the, the YouTube social media version as well but he is my bro and big shout out to these three people who actually helped me out with um, archiving some of the costumes and s live performances uh, initially so share some love to them and spread the remaining amount of the culture there is for whole time across Make sure you share all the videos, the playlists that I have for archiving Muhammad Macross songs and costumes in the future. Especially um, to all the Macross fans that you guys personally know and um, share the culture with. Until then guys, I'll see you guys around in more Macross news videos, I guess. Macross archive videos in the comment section down below as always. And of course, hopefully I'll see you guys in all my other YouTube channel works as well, especially the unboxing stuff. Uh, I do unbox Macross content as well, you know. <laughs> it's not just otaku weep stuff. I mean, Macross is technically otaku weep stuff, isn't it right? <laughs> Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!